Okay, this is Andrea Needles again from Creighton Farms, and I wanted to take you through a whole workout just using a piece of equipment known as the TRX. Whereas the TRX is approximately about $100, for that investment, you can do a ton of exercises with it. And you don't even need to put it a hole in your ceiling or anything like that. So let me show you. It comes with a clip, and normally people will insert this into their ceiling or whatever, but in times when you're at home, and you don't necessarily have the ability to do that, you can take it outside. You can find anything that's secure enough where you can just wrap it around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this metal frame, but again, you can use a tree, you can use a post, anything that's gonna be able to secure your body weight. And you can get a full body workout, including some cardio with literally one piece of equipment. So I'm gonna start with my lower half. Hold on one second. I'm just going to move this one rung over. And I'm going to start with the straps pulled low so I can start with my lower body. I'm going to start with some squats and I'm going to do about 25 squats. The good thing about the TRX is you're using your whole body weight, which is really and allows you to go nice and deep with your squats, even deeper than you necessarily would with weights, and it's really nice and easy on your joints. I'm still remembering to use my proper form, but it's actually a really, the TRX is a great supplement to other workouts. wide and I'm actually doing what's called a sumo squat now. My feet are facing, toes are facing forward. I'm just going to do a few more reps. Okay, I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to switch it to a cardio, a little bit of cardio, jump squat. Soft landing. We do five more. Five. Four. I'm making sure my knees are not keeping it switch gears a little bit. I'm going to come back to my legs, but I'm going to move. You change the position just by lifting up the straps. And I'm going to work out my back. So since this isn't particularly high, I'm going to bend my knees. So I'm even get my core workout at the same time. I'm squeezing my elbows. Behind me. Squeezing my shoulder blades together, and I'm squeezing my glutes, pulling my abdominals in. One thing that sometimes you still need to make sure that you're not raising your shoulders, so I'm going to pull those down. Let's do a few more reps. Let's do three more. Three. Two, and one. Moving my straps down a little bit. I'm going to focus on my quads now. With doing something called a pistol squat. It's basically a one-legged squat. So I'm going to keep my knees together. Toes are facing forward. And I'm going straight down. In your own personal workout, you can do two to three sets of each of these exercises, or do one longer set. Like I always emphasize, have fun with it, mix and match things, keep those muscles guessing. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. Lock my knees together, and go down as one unit. I'm going to do five more. Two, one. Okay, this time I want to work a little bit more of my inner thighs. Still getting those glutes. So now 
putting up my feet a little wider. Knees are going out to the side. Straight down. Two. As someone who likes to do weights, I actually really love to put the TRX into my workouts at least once a week. It's so nice on your joints. And you get your core involved in everything even more than when you're focused on how much weight you can lift. So I really think this is such a great piece of equipment. I'm gonna do a few more reps. Three, two, one. I'm gonna hit the back. Again, going from a different direction, I'm gonna hit a wide grip row. I've shown those before in my videos. I'm gonna lift up the straps a little bit. And the core is playing an enormous role. Let me just bump this up a little bit higher. Okay. The more you lock your feet in, the harder you make it. Again, I'm going to bend my knees because this isn't as high as it could be. And I like to get my glutes and core in particularly involved. So I'm keeping my elbows out to the side, dropping my shoulders. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. One exercise that I like to do as well is I take the straps holding on from the, the handles. I'm going to go into a mini squat. I'm going to go down and twist and touch. Twist and touch. Now I'm getting a little bit of additional core movement. If I turn it like this, I'm getting some biceps. working my core all around, stabilizing it from all directions. And one more, I'm gonna go the other side. And this is so good because it's so important for golf, anything that rotational development. I'm gonna do five more. Four, three, two, one. Since I love my lunges and I want to focus even more on my glutes, I'm going to go ahead and do a round of reverse lunges. Coming down behind me and I'm going to alternate. Reminder, knee right above your heel, not going forward. Now I'm going a little wide with my lunge because I just love to feel that stretch too. But you can tuck it in a little bit more if you want to. All right, a few more on each side. And last one. Don't want to neglect the chest. So, for my purposes, I'm going to bring the strap down a little bit. If you feel like the push-ups are a little too hard on the TRX, you can just hold it in a plank position and just hold it there and maybe go down part way. But if you want to go ahead and try a push-up, these are great. Three more. Three, two, one. In fact, before we move on to the biceps and triceps, you can even, let's not forget those, those uh, calves. So I'm going to go ahead. 
lift and lower my calves. Where my calf raises. And 10. There's a lot of like strictly abdominal exercises that you can do on this, a plank, putting your feet in here, um, which I'll try to show you. That's one impediment of using a space like I've chosen, but if you have, but there are ways you can do that as well. So we're going to move on to biceps. You can do biceps a fair variety of different ways. I'm going to show you my first version. I'm just going to bring these up a little bit is I'm going to bring a little bit of back into it as well. Since the back is such a comprised of so, so many big muscles, it's always good to get those a little extra attention. So I'm working my biceps in addition to my back. One thing to make sure is you don't bend your wrist. You want to keep Think about what body part you're moving and working and you want to keep it all in one nice straight line. I've chosen a chilly day to do this from wearing a jacket, but I'm making sure that I'm not bending my wrists. Now, if I just want to work for a little bit more focus on just my biceps, lift up the strap a little bit more and I'm going to do a bicep curl on an incline. So again, for my purposes, you can have straight or bent legs. I'm going to bend mine just to give myself a little bit more room because I'm having a little less, a little lower mounted TRX. You want to make it harder. Again, you walk your feet in. You want to make it a little bit easier. You walk your feet closer to your body. I'm pulling up, not bending my wrists, dropping my shoulders. I tell you, this is like lifting 20 pounds each. All right. And you can mix and match. You can do a bicep set of bicep curls. Go ahead and throw in a cardio burst like your jump squats that I showed you at the beginning. So, have, like I said, have fun with it. We're going to move on to triceps. I'm going to keep my body straight. And I'm going to pull up for overhead triceps. I'm going to throw in two more. Okay. Now, even on this surface, I can still do a really effective glute raise that I showed you in other videos, but now I'm doing a moving target on my feet. So let's see how this works. I'm going to push out a little bit. Putting my feet into the, my heels into the strap like this, and I'm pressing down. Up, down, up, down. Again, doesn't look like it's hard, but it's really challenging. We're gonna do five more of these, and then we're gonna work our outer thighs. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to lift up, not dipping our, our stomach, and we're going to go out and in, out and in, out and out and And 15. I usually try to do about 25 of those. Maybe only 15 or so of the squats, but I usually go a little bit more on the uh, in and outs. 
You can also, if you feel so inclined, reverse it. Usually it helps to have someone help you with that until you get used to it. And now I'm gonna work my abs. So while this would be easier to do if you had it attached to your ceiling, it's not like you can't do it outside either. And I'm gonna go side to side, work with my obliques. And I'm gonna bring them in and out. In and out. Let's do five more of these. Four, three, two, one. I'm just gonna drop this down just a little bit more. And you can also do a push up. So where before your feet were stable and your arms were not, now you can stabilize your lower, your, your upper body while destabilizing your feet. Three, two, one. Don't want to neglect those hamstrings. Remember at the beginning I showed you a pistol squat, which was working our quads. You just want to focus a little bit more on the hamstrings. You can do that. I'm going to tuck away from the T-Rex. I'm going to lift my torso up and I'm going to bring my feet to my bottom. One. All right, I'm gonna stay here for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and pull my abs in and touch, and touch. I'm making sure it's coming from my abs. And together, okay. Since it's always good to add that plank to you, to your workout, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to stay and I'm going to dip a little bit on each side. Okay, now I'm just going to stay and pull my abs in and I'm just going to hold. I'm sure that's not too exciting for you watching me do this, so I will end this part now, but you can again hold that for as long as you want to. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me today. And as always, if you have any requests for future videos, if you have questions to ask me, etc., please don't hesitate to reach out to me at aneedles at creightonfarms.com. Thanks again and happy TRXing. Bye.